Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, today I am going to start the chapter tissue. But before going to start tissue, I just want to tell you about what is cell. But I think all of you know that what is cell. Cell is the basic structure and functional unit of life. Then what is tissue? Tissue is a group of similar cells which constitute together and perform this specific function. As I told you that today I will discuss you about tissue. You can see here this is a plant. Plant is also made up of with the different kinds of tissue. We are all animal. I am a human being. Our body is made up of with the different kinds of animal tissue. Plant tissue divided into two types. Meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. But where we found the meristematic tissue? Meristematic tissue may be found in the growing region of the plant. And what is the function of the meristematic tissue? It increases the length of the plant. This meristematic tissue divided into three types. Apical meristem, intercalary meristem and lateral meristem. Apical meristem may be found in the growing region of the plant. Otherwise, we can say it is present in the tip of shoot. But what is the function of the apical meristem? The main function of the apical meristem increases the length of the plant. Intercalary meristem. Intercalary meristem mainly found in the internodes. Then what is the function of the intercalary meristem? It increases the length of the internode. Then where we found the lateral meristem? Lateral meristem mainly found in between the conducting tissue that is xylem and phloem. Then what is the function of the lateral meristem? It increases the girth of the plant. Now I will discuss you about the permanent tissue. What is the permanent tissue? This is a type of tissue which is made up of with the cells which have lost the capacity of the power of cell division. Permanent tissue can be divided into two types. Simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue. What is the simple permanent tissue? Why we call it a simple permanent tissue? Because it is made up of with the only one type of cells. Simple permanent tissue can be divided into three. Parenchyma, polenchyma and sclerenchyma. Where we found the parenchymatous tissue? Parenchymatous tissue mainly found in the leaves. And where we found the polenchymatous tissue? Polenchymatous tissue found in the leaf stalk. Then where we found the sclerenchymatous tissue? Sclerenchymatous tissue mainly found in the leaf veins. You can see here the many veins are there on the leaves. The veins we found the sclerenchymatous tissue. Now boys, if we bend the branch of this plant, it will not easily break. Why it is so? Because of the presence of polenchymatous tissues which gives the mechanical support to the plant. And now I will discuss about structure of different plant tissues. Tissue. In this slide, we can see that plant tissue is divided into meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. Meristematic tissue divided into apical meristem, intercalary meristem, and lateral meristem. Permanent tissue divided into simple permanent tissue complex permanent tissue. Simple permanent tissue divided into parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Complex permanent tissue divided into xylem and phloem. Now in this slide we can see the location of three different types of meristematic tissue and structure of meristematic tissue. Here we can see the location of apical meristem which is present in the growing region of the plant. Then what is the function of the apical meristem? It increases the length of the plant. Next is intercalary meristem which is present in between the internodes. Then what is the function of the intercalary meristem? It increases the length of internodes. Lateral meristem. It is present in between the two conducting tissues and what is the function of the lateral meristem? It increases the girth of the plant. Now here we can see the detailed structure of the meristematic tissues. Meristematic tissues cells are very compactly arranged. There is no intercellular space in between them. And the cell wall is very thin. 
In this slide, we can see three different types of simple permanent tissue. First one is parenchyma tissue. In the parenchyma tissue, cell shapes are oval and sometimes it is polygonal in shape and cells are not compactly arranged. That's why there is intercellular space in between them. Then what is the function of the parenchyma tissue? Sometimes it stores food. Next is cholenchyma tissue. In the cholenchyma tissue, we can see the shape of the cells elongated and corners, cell wall corners are thickened. Then what is the function of the cholenchyma tissue? It gives mechanical support to the plant. Next is sclerenchyma tissue. Sclerenchyma tissues, cells are dead. Cells are very compactly arranged. That's why there is no intercellular space in between them. But we can see that there is a thickened wall throughout. Then what is the function of this sclerenchyma tissue? It also gives mechanical support to the plant. This is an uh, 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 comparative studies between parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma. Have a look boys. In this slide, you can see the complex permanent tissue. There is two types of complex permanent tissue, xylem and phloem. But why they are called complex permanent tissue? Because they are made up of with the more than one type of cells. Here we can see the xylem tissue, which is made up of with the dead cells. It is made up of with xylem parenchyma, trachytes, xylem fiber and vessels. But it makes a long tube-like structure through which water can pass through it. Then what is the function of the xylem tissue? It transports water. Next is phloem. In the phloem tissue, cells, all cells are living. Here also we can see phloem parenchyma, companion cells, phloem fiber and sieve tubes. Here also it makes a long tube-like structures and perforated cell walls in between them through which food can easily pass. Then what is the function of the phloem tissue? It helps in translocation of food. In the next video, we will discuss about structure, location and function of different types of animal tissue. Thank you.